This is Jason Spangler with Wagner Meters, and as most of you know, as far as flooring manufacturers and adhesive manufacturers that are out there, there are two very common methods for testing for moisture in concrete slabs prior to installing a finished floor product. One of them is ASTM F1869, which is the calcium chloride test. The other one is ASTM F2170, which is the relative humidity in situ or in concrete test. First, we talk about the, the calcium chloride test and some of the pros and cons to it. If you look at calcium chloride, it's a test that it was actually established back in the 40s, really has no pedigree or science behind it, and as we've looked at it going forward now, we realize that that test really only looks at the top three quarters of an inch of the vapor emissions coming out of that slab. It really doesn't tell you what's going on inside the slab. In contrast, if you look at the relative humidity or in situ test in the concrete, what you're looking at is you're looking at the ability to put a sensor 40% depth into that concrete and actually establish a baseline that tells you or predicts what the surface conditions are going to be like after you install the finished floor product. If I was to go out and ask people, do you care about really what's going on now? Or do you want to know as an installer what's going to happen after you've spent the time, effort, and money to put the product on the floor and then hug a 12 year, or excuse me, a 12 month warranty on that? Which do they really care about? They want to know what the conditions are going to be like after they install. With that, relative humidity devices or relative humidity testing, specifically the Rapid RH, is really the tried and true method scientifically proven to be the best type of concrete moisture testing available today. This is Jason Spangler signing off.